Proud of the effort of our guys. Uh, I thought for 40 minutes, I thought we uh, tried to create tempo, and the tempo was created by our defense. Uh, even when we were down 13 early on, you know, uh, I just thought we just had to get kind of like you have a nightmare. You're trying to get the sluggishness out of you. Uh, but thank goodness for our bench. I thought our guys coming off Desi and uh, Keyshawn Embry. Uh, uh, I think Gabe came off the bench. Reggie Cheney came off the bench. And I thought those guys really kind of changed the, the tempo defensively, just really getting out there, getting in lanes and uh, getting steals, getting to the basket, getting into their defense. And uh, it was, it, to me, I thought that was critical, you know, getting back in the game. Uh, of course, Missouri came out, and uh, I thought some of the nervous turnovers we had, uh, we saw those, and that's why they were able to score. Uh, uh, and of course, Dan, they're not, they're not going to let Dan do anything. They're just playing off of those guys that, uh, uh, the guys that are playing that power position. And so we were able to put some guards out there and, and kind of spread the floor. I thought that was a little different, gave us a little bit better flow. Second half, uh, we shot the ball a little bit better, uh, got really into a nice nice rhythm. And uh, and what can I say, going down the stretch. Uh, we talk about a game of runs. You don't know when it's going to come, but it came right there. I think with 4.27 to go. It's a one-point game, and uh, our defense kicked in, our offense kicked in, and, and you could just see our guys were really uh, they were engaged and, and played with that intensity that I've been looking for. So, again, uh, Missouri uh, Smith, he kept them in it. He kept making shots after shots. Uh, but our guys, i uh, got to give them credit. They had some adversity, but they hung in there, and it was a good team win. Yeah, Mike, you guys obviously have been struggling. What's going through your mind when you're down 17-4, to 4 and I think you're one for 12? What did you guys do to, to get it going in your direction? Well, we, uh, we, we brought some, some energy off the bench. I thought the guys came off the bench, and they created some offense with their defense, uh, and we were able to score. Uh, get some easy opportunities, some layups, and, and before you know it, you kind of kind of broke the ice. It's kind of like it was kind of chilly, I guess, out there on the floor. Uh, but eventually, we broke the ice with our defense, and then, then I thought we got into a much better rhythm, and uh, we start, we actually start force feeding the ball in there to Dan, and, uh, and you saw him uh, uh, go up and score some basket with two and three people around. And it tells you what kind of player Dan is. I mean, he gets a double-double when they're really just throwing people at him. Uh, but we were able to, again, uh, go a little smaller, spread the floor, get into gaps, and, uh, and, uh, and knock some shots down. I talked about you guys, you know, going smaller, going with four guards. There are some key spots. What, 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 led, what, what led to that uh, strategy? Well, they were backing off guys. They were just packing the all in on Dan. And so, in order to do that, you got to open up the floor, to space the floor. You got to bring out guys that hopefully can knock shots down, uh, and uh, or even the threat of knocking shots down. And, and I thought we were able to do that. Mike, did you think the pressure from your four guard lineup would in effect would have a, I guess, force Missouri into a few more turnovers than a, than you were doing early in the first half? Uh, you know what? I just talked about what we want to do. Uh, I thought we want to create tempo, and that, that's who we are. And and uh, so it was good for me just to see our guys go out and, and leave it all on the floor. Uh, I thought uh, we made the adjustments. Uh, they attacked us at times, but uh, I thought the constant pressure. you know, And they made some plays. They made some shots. They got some easy opportunities. Uh, but sometimes, you know, over a course of a game, uh, we just tried to make them uncomfortable. I thought that was the biggest difference. And then our guys uh, uh, kept the pressure. I thought we kept the pressure, touching balls and coming up with them and and, and, and getting on the other end and, and making buckets with it and getting back in our defense. So it was just a constant. I thought it was a constant of disruption. Uh, could you talk a little bit about how, you know, Guy said it was playing pretty well, but you guys were able to stop him from really hurting you guys tonight? He was a key. I thought he's the head of their basketball team. I thought we want to make him work and – uh, he got in that lane and, and kicked it back to Smith a couple of times. Uh, that's what he does. But we wanted to make sure we stay with those guys that can really shoot the basketball. Uh, and I thought our guys did a good job. Uh, again, it was just – it was more than one guy guarding I think that was the biggest difference. It, uh, Isaiah is such a nice, polite, quiet kid. Yeah, can you is. talk about, though, how he just has a killer instinct late in the game at times? I think he's starting to – the. the uh, I think I said it, you know, here probably about the last three games. Now he started playing with that spirit. 
you know, uh, to me that Razorback spirit, that uh, the spirit that you talked about, you know, with with the mindset of, of being aggressive, being more assertive. We see him go off the dribble a lot more now, and not just selling. So, uh, so it was good to see him, even defensively. You can see him engage, touching balls, and so he's learning. I mean, just like our team. I mean, it, it's uh, it's amazing. You watch the first half, and then you see the second half. Uh, you wonder sometimes is is it the same same guys out there? We had nine turnovers at halftime. I think we ended up with with, with uh, 14 for the game. So that means we have five turnovers in the second half and playing at that pace. See, that that's, to me is uh, the mark of our team is we, we value the basketball. Uh, we want to create turnovers, but we value the basketball. So it's, it's still a learning process, I'm sure, uh, for him. But it was good to see him step up in big moments. But I thought tempo had a lot to do with that, Dudley. The tempo had a lot to do with that. I'd be surprised to get Tillman the foul out and Gafford not even get charged with the foul. I thought Dan played smart. I thought he did. Did a good job on the ball screens, getting up there and getting back, and uh, just real active. Uh, and, he, and Dan played a lot of minutes. He was spitting out there at times. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that's that's kudos to him. Uh, but at the same time, you know, one of the things we talked about is putting bodies on people. And and I'm sure he got a couple of pushing. Then he got, I think he got a couple of. Uh, we come up and screen. Uh, so uh, we wanted to attack. We wanted to attack inside. It's been over three weeks since you won. I mean, how good is it to win? How good is it for the kids to win? I mean, it's good. I, it's good for the psyche. I, I think it is. I think it's good. I think our guys know they're a good basketball team. I mean, we just we we uh, we've come up short. We hadn't put together the 40 minutes that we talked about. And uh, but I thought we were closer tonight. But it was triggered because of our defense. Uh, I, I can't say it enough. I thought our defense, the push of the basketball, whether it be on makes, miss, uh, I mean, we did those things. And even when we made mistakes, you know what? We just played through it. Uh, I thought they had fun tonight. And um, um, Jalen, that's probably his best game maybe since A and M. No turnovers, six assists, ten. What did you think of his game? You know, about more than anything else, I thought he was in control out there. Uh, I thought he was in control, and that's what's got to take place. You got to have some head out there, you know. Uh, when, when it's when it's going erratic, you got to have somebody to settle him down on offense and defense. And uh, uh, I thought he grew up a little bit uh, tonight. Yeah, Mike. What is it about Reggie playing so well coming off the bench as opposed to the couple times you put him in the lineup? Is he just more comfortable, I guess, in that role? I guess he's a freshman. He's figuring it out. You know, I think I'm, I'm finally figuring it out. You know, he plays – Reggie played really big. I mean, he just – he continues to get better and better and better. The the great pass to Dan, I mean, it had to be a perfect pass. And that was a big play. The high-low where uh, I think we went up one or something like that there. That was a big, big play. And then he comes up. He, he deflects passes, and we come up with them. That's big. He can switch on the guard and guard the guard. So, uh, his impact on his team is, is is very, very important. And so, and we want to put him in a position where, you know, he helps us. Our bench outscores their bench 19 to 15. And uh, i said again, the biggest component of this team is going to continue to be our bench, night in and night out. Somebody got to step up. Desi comes out. I thought Desi played well. Uh, he had, you know, a couple of charges. But I thought for the most part, uh, he's learning, coming out and, and bringing energy, his defense. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think he once scored the second field goal of the game. That really kind of got us going. Uh, Keyshawn, he comes in, he hits a shot that gets us up in the first half. I mean, he was a banker. I don't know if he called bank, but uh, – but you know what? It all counts. I, I tell you what, a bigger play in the game was to me was uh, right there at halftime where Daniel gets it and scoops it up. Uh, that was that was a big play. I thought it was a momentum play going in, uh, in into halftime, knowing that we hadn't played uh, as good as we're capable of playing. And uh, but somehow our guys were fighting, scratching, and clawing. I was going to ask you about that shot, but. I'm good. I beat you to it, Bob. See, I'm good. I'm good, Bob. I'm good, Bob. I know it. I know it. Everybody want to go home and get some sleep, Bob. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.